Welcome back to our channel, where we delve deep into the fabric of our societal rights and responsibilities, unraveling the complexities of the world around us. Today, we're bringing you an intriguing episode that sits at the crossroads of individual freedom and national security. A real-world scenario that will have you questioning, where do we draw the line? In today's video, we witness a riveting interaction between an individual and law enforcement officers right at the entrance of a military base. The individual armed with nothing but a camera, finds himself in a situation that challenges the very essence of public recording rights. As officers approach, questions fly and tensions rise, we're left to ponder what's at stake when the lenses of a camera meet the gates of a military installation. Join us as we explore this encounter, dissecting the clash between the pursuit of security and the protection of civil liberties. Good, how are you? Wonderful. Good. Jeff? Brian Rankin, JSO. Nice to meet you, sir. What's Jones. going on? Just getting some photographs out here today. You really understand this is a military base? Yes, sir. That's that's why I'm out here to get photographs of the military base. So, uh, you don't you don't think that's rather odd? Uh, no. Really? No, they they're having the. Uh, I heard on the radio they're doing the um, base security operations this week. I think that's why Channel Four News is out here as well. Okay. Are you with the news? I am. Yeah, I'm with Pinac News. Who are you with? Pinac, P-I-N-A-C, Pinac News. You have any credentials that associate you with them? Not on me, no. Usually people with the media have all their credentials on them right. when they're working. Right. So, are you working? I'm just getting photographs, yeah. I'm just getting photographs, not answering my question, sir. Okay, well. I didn't just, I didn't just drive by and see you. Yeah call for service because somebody's called in reported your videotape and photographing people leaving the base is what they said uh, that's what they that's what they called in and reported yeah the photographing and videotape it's suspicious activity is it um, unlawful activity it may not be unlawful but it's highly suspicious mm -hmm. uh, suspicious enough for me to write a report with all your information in it okay so you have an ID I have an ID in my car in this one yeah okay you want to grab it? No. Really? Yeah, I'd rather not ID. So you're refusing to ID yourself? Am I being detained or anything? You're getting ready to be. I mean, am I suspected of criminal activity? Listen, we can do this one or two ways, brother. You've been with the media long enough to know mm -hmm. we don't mess around with this kind of stuff, especially you're taking pictures of a Navy base or a Coast Guard base. It's a federal facility right here. Mm -hmm. You're actually standing on federal property. No, I'm standing on public property. You're actually on the easement. This yeah. is a federal Over there is right federal. Here. I'm on the public right-of-way where the bus stop is. You're Let's on the public right-of-way. Right. Adjacent to federal property. Mm -hmm. So you really don't want to identify yourself. Well, I mean, am I being detained or anything? You will be. Well, I mean, if I will be, that means I'm not being detained, so. You're not right now, but I'm give, trying to give you the opportunity to do the right thing. Again, I didn't just drive by and see you and now I'm gonna stop and mess with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a lawful reason to be here. I have a lawful reason to ask you any questions mm -hmm. because of what you're doing. And I have a lawful right not to answer any questions, okay. right? Mm -hmm. 15, 15, 15, 15. So this gentleman's here, says he's with media. You know what? I got my business card. Can I give you my business card? No, you're not. You're not going toward anywhere now. You've no. already refused mm -hmm. to identify yourself. Why are you gonna give me a business card? Why not give me your ID? Well, because I'd rather not ID. I, I got my business card. Well, it doesn't work that way. Well, how does it work? I'm here for a lawful reason. I'm asking you for your ID. Mm -hmm. But you've already affirmed that I'm not committing any crime. I'm not suspected of any criminal activity. Well, we'll see. Failing to give us your ID is a crime. Um, it's called resisting without uh, violence. No, it's not. That is a state statute. So no, really it's not. Do you want to go to jail on something like that? No, sir. I don't want to go to jail. Okay. Well, well I mean, be a smart ass, all right. Oh, <laughs> I mean, what's your name and badge number? What's my name? What's your badge number? Six three four three three. And how do you pronounce your name? Read it. I can't. I... Hey, Milton. Why, why are you being a smart ass? I'm not being a smart ass. Huh? <laughs> 
this is the guy that goes around doing stuff like this? I don't know. <laughs> How am I being a smart ass? I've never been right. before, so I don't know. Well, okay, since you guys, am I being detained? I'm, I've asked you that multiple times. You say I'm about to be. Either I'm being detained or I'm not. Actually, you are being yeah, detained. Yeah, you're being right detained. Right now. Okay. You're not free to leave. Since I'm being detained, and you say you're conducting an investigation, yes. I'm going to invo I'm invoking my right to remain silent. I'm okay. invoking my right to have an attorney present during questions. At this point, you can direct all your questions to my attorney. Okay. Fine. I'm not answering any more questions. I've told you who I am. My name is Jeff. I told you I work for Pinnack News Services, and I'm gathering content for a story. You got okay. a phone number for that news service? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. If you're a new service, then you should know that you were with That's what I told could, him. You just cooperate with us and everything. I have cooperated. That's what I did. I told him my ID. ID. I don't need to give you my ID. I told you my name is Jeff. I've identified myself. That doesn't mean anything. I can tell you. Connect News. You know. Well, let me know when I'm free to go, sir. You're, you're not, not free, free to, to go. go. Jeff. You said Jeff? Yes, Jeff. Tell me the media company again. Pinnack News, P I N A C. And you have a phone number for him? That's 904. Yep. Like I said, I can give you my uh, my business card if you'll let me get it out of the car. ID. I don't really want you going to your to your car now, because you've already shown me that you really want to cooperate with me. So the last thing I want you to do is go to your vehicle and okay. grab something. You feel me? I mean, from my standpoint, it's an officer safety issue. If you're gonna if you're gonna tell me no, I don't have to identify myself, which you do. Then I don't have to identify I'm myself unless I'm suspected of a crime. And, get and, and I have identified myself. Next you are, you're Jeff, are doing suspicious activity. A suspicious activity, a misdemeanor, or a felony. It doesn't matter what it is. Is it a crime? Is it a crime to take photographs? That's what you said you got a call about. Well, Taking photographs and videotaping. We'll find out the crime that you're not giving us your identity. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime we is a We already have it. What's your reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime? call about a guy doing what you're doing. Videotaping and taking photographs? Yes. Yep. On a so military installation. I'm military not on a military installation. installation. You were taking of, one of, of a military Of a military. So you guys are saying that's a criminal offense? Yes. It's not a criminal offense, but it's a suspicious activity that we can investigate. Right. Mm -hmm. We have the right to question you. Well, I would say that taking photographs and videos of uh, all you want. I'm just of a military installation is a telling you what we okay. Well, let me let me, let me say what I'm saying. Taking photographs and video recording a military installation or a federal installation from public property is not only lawful activity; it's constitutionally protected activity. We're not being arrested, but we're just, just investigating it. Well, that's like I said. If you're investigating with my lawfully constitutionally can, protected we, activity, well, that's then that's what we do. We investigate. Things. You can talk to my attorney. All right. You want to pay your attorney what, like a couple hundred dollars an hour? I don't know. Do you think that's worth it? Can you guys get your uh, supervisor out here, please. Yeah, we, oh, he's, he's on, on the way. way. He's on the way. Who is your supervisor? What's he's his already name? on the way. He'll let, he'll let you know his name when he gets here. He'll give you his badge number. Yeah. Nobody's at the news station. Oh, that's you're calling my phone. That's my phone number. That's the number you gave me. Yeah, that's my phone number. It's Pinnack News. That's me. <laughs> You're a funny dude, man. Yeah, right back at you. <laughs> so I'm going to put you guys on notice right now that you're in violation of my civil rights. I'm letting you know that I don't consent to being detained, and I'd like to be free to go. Let me know when I'm free to go. This is what you do. You go around trying to get cops on, trying to catch them on doing stuff. Well, you guys are definitely uh, <laughs> yeah. obliging if that was yeah. my purpose. Yeah. You think it's funny to detain somebody? No, it's not. Like I said, we're here for a lawful reason, so you know. you're here for a lawful reason, but you don't have me for any crime. You don't have a you don't have a lawful reason to detain me. That's the problem. The fact that you refuse to identify yourself is. It is not. I guess we, we have the right to, to question who you are. When we, we have can a lawful question. reason to do that. We don't have a lawful reason to detain me. Right. You can argue that all you want. I'm just telling you what I what I what I believe, and then you believe what you believe. Uh, you're incorrect. You should know better. How long you been a, an officer with JSA? How long you been doing this? About five or six years. Okay. How long have you been an officer? Been a cop for about 35 years. Oh wow! And you don't know by now that you can't detain somebody yeah, I know without lawful. Yeah, can't detain somebody without a reason yet. Yeah. But I'm not doing that. And you don't know that Florida state statute says that I have to be lawfully detained before you can arrest me for failure to ID. No, I don't want to be arrested. Oh, no. No, no. I don't want to be arrested. Like I said, I'd like to be free to go. I'd like for you guys to leave me alone. I, I, 
I let me do it. If you go, but you can't now because the way you're acting. If you would just cooperate in the beginning, you'd be on your way. But so you know, peacefully and politely asserting my rights no, is because you don't refuse to identify yourself. I, I've identified myself multiple times, Jeff. That's Pinnack News. That's who I am. What I'm doing is you gathering content for story. I'm tra I told him I get my business card. Business you know, card is not proof, dude. You know that. You gotta have like a I'm no under, driver's license or some other. I'm no un I'm under no obligation to prove anything to you. All if right. I'm, if hey, I'm, you know what? I'm engaged in lawfully protected activity. You know what? We can go around and around. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna grab my phone here. My phone. Is that okay? Hey Ed, how's it going? I have not. I'm up in Jacksonville being detained right now by JSO. Hey, it's 1028. If he if he 1051, it's good 1028, okay? Hey what? Hey, hold on, I'll call you back, okay? If you don't hear from me in about 20 minutes, uh, I've been arrested, alright? I'll call you in 20 minutes. Okay, you're free to go. All right, thank you guys. Yep. Be safe out there. Thank you. Have a good day. I'd rather not if you guys let me be free to go, that's fine. At the heart of this incident is the individual's assertion of his right to film in a public space, a right that is generally protected under the First Amendment. However, the context of this action near a military installation introduces complexities that merit a closer examination. Law enforcement's approach to the individual raises pivotal questions about reasonable suspicion, the concept rooted in the Fourth Amendment which guards against unreasonable searches and seizures. The officer's request for identification is a focal point of the legal discourse here. Typically, law enforcement can request identification if there is reasonable suspicion to believe a crime has been committed. However, the the crux of the debate lies in whether the act of filming in this context constitutes reasonable suspicion. Courts have often grappled with this issue, generally siding with the notion that filming in public is not inherently suspicious unless accompanied by other concerning behaviors. Moreover, the individual's invocation of his right to remain silent and his request for legal counsel during the interaction align with the Fifth Amendment, which protects against self-incrimination. This right underscores the individual's autonomy in navigating encounters with law enforcement, particularly when the legality of the detention is in question. Legal precedents, such as the case of Glick versus Cunniff, affirm the right to film public officials in public spaces, underscoring the notion that visibility and transparency are integral to a democratic society. Yet the unique sensitivities associated with military installations necessitate a nuanced application of these principles, balancing the need for transparency with legitimate security concerns. And there you have it, a moment frozen in time yet pulsating with questions that resonate with the core of our societal values. As we conclude today's episode, we leave you with a canvas painted with the hues of rights, responsibilities, and the relentless quest for understanding in a world brimming with gray areas. But the conversation doesn't end here. What did you think about the actions of the officers? Were they justified in their concern? Or did they step over the boundary that protects our freedoms? Dive into the comments below, share your thoughts, and become a part of this vital dialogue. 
Your voice is not just heard, it's essential. So engage, ponder, and let's navigate these uncharted waters together. Remember, the strength of our society lies in our willingness to question, to understand, and ultimately to evolve. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep seeking the truth in the world around you.